Gabon's military as of this morning, Wednesday 30th of August 2023, have confirmed their takeover of the government as they have seized control of the nation broadcasting their coup over the national TV, Gabon TV. This is happening in a time where we're witnessing successive coups from French West African colonies such as Mali, Burkina Faso, and most recently Niger, which is still ongoing. This news is sourced from a credible news outlet, Gabon TV, which is a state-run television channel under the presidency. It reveals the significant level of infiltration by the soldiers. The leaders of the military coup have admitted that the elections were not conducted in a transparent and fair manner. These elections resulted in Ali Bongo winning with a 64% majority, securing his third term and extending the Bongo family's over 50-year-long grip on power. Michel Stéphane Banda, the head of the elections, announced the results, stating that Albert Ando Asa, Bongo's main rival, secured second place with 30.77% of the votes. Bongo's team dismissed Ando Asa's claims of electoral irregularities. Tensions rose amidst concerns of potential unrest following the presidential, parliamentary, and legislative elections held on Saturday. Bongo aimed to prolong his family's 56-year-long hold on power, while the opposition advocated for change in this resource-rich yet impoverished nation dependent on oil and cocoa. The lack of international observers, suspension of certain foreign broadcasts, and the authorities' actions of cutting internet services and implementing a nationwide curfew after the polls raised doubts about the transparency of the electoral process. During the television broadcast, one officer read a joint statement, while around a dozen others stood silently behind him wearing military fatigues and berets. The group has proclaimed themselves as members of the Committee of Transition and the Restoration of Institutions. They announced the dissolution of various state institutions, including the government, the Senate, the National Assembly, the Constitutional Court, and the election body. If successful, this coup would mark the eighth occurrence in West and Central Africa since 2020, posing a threat to democratic advancements. Previous coups in countries like Mali, Guinea, Burkina Faso, Chad, and Niger have all undermined the progress of democracy. In July, the military seized power in Niger, causing ripples of concern throughout the Sahel region and drawing the attention of global powers with strategic interests in the area. At the age of 64, Ali Bongo, who assumed the presidency in 2009 following his father Omar, faced 18 competitors in the elections. Among them, six supported Albert Ando Asa in an attempt to narrow the field. In 2016, violent street protests erupted against Bongo's disputed re-election for his second term, resulting in the torching of the parliament building. During that time, the government implemented an internet shutdown that lasted for several days. Please stay subscribed as we'll continue to bring you more updates on the current situation happening in Gabon.